archaeologist gear. I'm still here on my holiday at Rocky Beach and I found the rock I was looking for. This is my favourite rock in the world. It's something that's got a bit of a funny name, it's called Blue Schist. Now, Blue Schist earns its name, it's quite blue in colour. Um, and it's incredibly rare. Not because it doesn't form very often, but because of where it forms, it is really hard to actually find a piece. This piece of rock formed 100 kilometers below the surface of the Earth. So the basalt we were looking at before that forms on the sea floor, it travels along like a conveyor belt and gets dragged below the Australian continent. When it does that, lots of seawater get come, come down with it. And that can create a whole bunch of different things. One of them was that serpentine that we looked at last time, what was the pentonite? And that serpentinite was dragging up pieces of rock from deep down in the subduction zone. And this is one of them. So the reason that this rock is so blue is because of a mineral called glaucophane. Now glaucophane is related to the minerals that normally form in basalt, but it's got a lot of something called sodium in it. Now it probably sounds a little bit familiar because the sea salt that's in all the seawater is sodium chloride. So all that salt that's in the seawater it mixes in with the basalt and creates a whole bunch of new minerals when it forms under those very high pressure conditions hundred kilometers below the surface of the earth. It creates that lovely mineral glaucophane. And we can even see little layers in the rock where all those minerals have been squished down and flattened out. And that's another clue that this rock formed at great depths. But of course because it forms so deep in the earth, it's very difficult for it to come back up. So we're incredibly lucky to be able to find it here at Port Macquarie. And that's why it's really important if you do come and have a look at this rock and you find any pieces like this, please don't take them home. Because they're incredibly valuable to scientists who study them. And they're beautiful to look at for all the, everyone who wants to come and see them. And if they all get taken home, well, then they become even harder to find. And we don't want that to happen. So take a picture, don't take the rock. Happy holidays, and I'll see you next time.